Hey friends, it's Matthew of Mr. Domestic to show you how to crochet your own recycled t-shirt yarn baskets for all your storage needs. These are super durable, super hard. This shape is not going anywhere. I bought the yarn from Paint Box Yarns. I'll put the link below. And I learned this gorgeous waistcoat stitch from Tony of TL Yarn Crafts in her recent Jessie Basket tutorial. I've made two. Those are amazing. Please, please, please go to her link below. If you don't already subscribe, subscribe to her and make sure to check out that tutorial as well. So if you are ready to learn how to make these fetch-tastic, super cute waistcoat stitch recycled yarn baskets, then stick around. Let's have some fun. Make sure to subscribe first, make sure to leave a comment first, and thumbs up and all that jazz. <laughs> and let's go have some fun now. So I have made two different sizes, and there's two different styles. This first one, I used the alternating waistcoat back loop only pattern that was in Tony's tutorial, so make sure to check that out for this. And then this one I did entirely in the waistcoat stitch and just followed it in the round until I got to the top. And it looks so beautiful. It's like a knit stitch, like a faux knit stitch. So this is what I'm going to show you here, but in this size. One other thing I wanted to show you is that I did the bottom two different ways. For the smaller one, I used a magic ring, which I'll show you. And then I did a single crochet bottom. That's also what I'll show you. For that one, it takes six single crochets in this round to get it started. For this one, partially because I didn't feel like <laughs> stitching so much, I used double crochet for the bottom. When you do a double crochet circle, you start with 12, and then you increase one and then increase another one. So it's similar, just with double crochet. It got me to the end result faster. So now let's get started making this bottom. I am using this recycled t-shirt yarn that I bought probably four years ago from Paintbox Yarns. It's great, it's gorgeous, it's amazing, and I pulled it from the center. So boom, boom, shake the room here. And I'm also using right here, it's an M hook. This is my first crochet hook that I love and adore. So to start the magic ring, I leave like a six inch tail. And then I'm gonna wrap it over once, under and over again, like so. In between these two, I'm going to pull this over and it kind of starts like a faux stitch. Then I'm going to do the first chain right here. Four, one. And now I've begun with the magic ring and the single. And I'm going to go into this ring and do my first single crochet, like so. And then now I'm going to do five more single crochets, overlapping this and this. So it's not where they're single, there's gonna be two, so it's including the tail. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you've never used recycled t-shirt yarn, you want it to go slightly beyond its natural state of tautness and not too tight. Otherwise, it's gonna create like a cramp right here. That's what I got for my first basket. So you can count them. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, right there. Then what you do that makes it magic is you pull on it. Oh, ta -da. and it closes it right here. And then now I'm going to go into that. One, two, three, four, five, six, right here. It's a slip stitch and I have begun to da the first circle and now chain one to level up to the next one. And so when increasing here, to increase right here in a circle with a single crochet, I'm going to put two single crochets per stitch. So now there's one and two. Like so. So there's two in there and I'm gonna do two in each of these stitches and then close it off with a slip stitch in the end. 
fast forward a little bit. So this is the final one. I got up close and personal for this so you could see it. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. And now I'm going to go in this loop right here and slip stitch. It's the top of that first single crochet. Pull it through, pull it through, and then chain one so that I can begin the next one. And then boom, super cute, super cute. And now, scale out, in order to increase, I'm going to alternate two single crochets in one stitch, one, two, one, two, one. So each time you increase in a circle, you're going to add one single crochet stitch in between each double. So I'm going to put two in here. One, two, like so. And then now just put one in the next one. And then two, one, two, one. I'll continue on with this and I'll meet you over here. So now I'm back over here. I finished all of my stitches and I am going to slip stitch the top of that first single crochet, pull through, pull through, chain one. And I'm gonna go up one more and so instead of it being two single crochets, one, two single crochets, one, I'm going to put one more single crochet in between the two double or the two single crochets that you will put into one. So it's going to go two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, like so. So let me continue here. This first one, I'm going to go ahead and alternate it and I'm put one in here and the next one, I'm going to put two just to move around that stitch that has the two in it so it doesn't turn into a hexagon. So I put two there, and now one, and one. So next stitch is gonna be two. That's the first single crochet. Second single crochet. And then now the next stitch gets one single crochet, and the next stitch after that gets one single crochet. Ta da, ta da, ta da. And if you need a more slowed down version of the single crochet stitch, then I will link to a tutorial here to help you out in a more slowed down version. I'm going to continue in this round and close this off before we move into creating the walls for the basket. So now I find myself here where I've done my last single crochet right here. Now I'm going to slip stitch the top of that first single crochet. Yarn over, pull through, pull through, and then chain one. And now I have the base for this awesome sauce basket. I am going to continue going in the round with this number of stitch. So each one of these stitches gets one single crochet for this first. I'm going to, instead of going here, like under the V, that would just continue the circle. I'm going to go in this back loop, and then there's another loop right there. You see it? Let me zoom in. Boop. Right here. I am going to go in this one as well. And then single crochet. Okay, let me keep this next one still so you can see where I went. Normally, you would go under the B, right? So I'm going to go back loop only. And then into this one right here. See? Single crochet. I'll do another one so that you can see it real close. So that is the crochet, back loop only. And then there's one more to stick it in, back loop. And 
right there. See? Single crochet. Like so. And now I'm going to continue this until I end up right here. I'll fast forward it so you can see it a little bit longer and then I'll just meet you there. Okay, so now I'm back at the first one. I have one more single crochet to put to create that base ledge. And for this first round of single crochets that I did, I am going to insert it in that first single crochet with a slip stitch and chain one up just so that I can maintain this beautiful ledge that I've created for the bottom. Otherwise, it would start to go diagonal. But every round after that, I'm just going to continue to go in the round with the waistcoat stitch. And I'll show you once I get back to here. But let's get going with that waistcoat stitch. Normally, you would stick the hook here. And get close. Right in there. But for the waistcoat stitch, you're going to go in between those two sides of the B. So it just goes in here. And then it pops out the back. I'll show you a couple and then pull through like so. I'll do another one. See, there is that V right here. I'm just going to insert it and then push it to the left. See where it goes? And then grab it, pull through like so. And with this one, I'll slow down so I can show you the little movement that I make to make sure that the V is snatched. So there's the, the next one, insert. Goes like this, and then this is gonna be in slow motion. So I will pull it through. But since Jersey is stretchy, you're gonna shimmy it a little to where it's even, like so. Otherwise it would be here, like really tight. Just shimmy it a little, just pull it to where it's its natural tautness. And then you're gonna have a pull through both. Ta-da, I'll show you one more. Insert in between the V, and then it comes out the back. Yarn over, pull through. Shimmy, 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 shimmy up. And then pull. And now I'm going to keep going in the round until I get back over to that first single crochet to, see, to show you how that I continue. I'll show you a couple more. Now I'll meet you back over at that first single crochet. So now I've gone all the way around. And admittedly, this next stitch is gonna look slightly janky, but for the most part, no one will be able to see it because there's not quite a V there, but you need to put a stitch in there. So I'm just going to stick it in here to a regular single crochet just so that I can continue in the round. And now I'm not gonna chain up. I'm just gonna keep going through the Vs. like so see keep going in the round and now i don't have to stop to chain up i just keep going and i am going to do six more rounds for this size basket and i will meet you when i get to the end and show you how to finish it off so now i have gone all the way through i've cut it tied it off and the only thing i have left to do is to weave in the end and i'm going to go through one of these and then into one of the waistcoat stitches, just for the continuity of the flow. Like so. And then there we go. Ta-da! I am gonna weave in the ends off camera. But we have ourselves a finished cutie patootie waistcoat basket. Yay! Now y'all can make your own fetch-tastic recycled t-shirt yarn baskets that are machine washable, they're durable, they're super cute, and they can hold all of your storage needs. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, how to laugh, learned a couple things, 
watch the whole thing and you're still watching me talk to you, make sure to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'm honored, as always, to have all of you a part of the Mr. Domestic journey. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Keep it safe, keep it positive, and Mr. Domestic out.